crafting on a budget. Father's Day is a week away. And boy, oh boy, do I have a couple really, really cute ideas for Father's Day that I wanted to share with you. I'm gonna break this up into two videos so this isn't an extra long video. So I'm gonna post one today and one tomorrow and then on with our mini mason jar series of five videos that I am so excited to bring to you that I just know you're gonna love. For these Father's Day projects that I'm gonna be bringing to you today and tomorrow, everything you need for these projects, you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna show you what items to pick up there. I personally won't be using them because I'm using the stuff that I already have here in my stash. So if you have this stuff in your stash, perfect, this project is going to be free. If you don't, both projects combined will cost a total of $3. So let's get to it. Let me show you what all you need to pick up from the Dollar Tree for these Father's Day projects. For today and tomorrow's project, you'll need a pad of Dollar Tree's construction paper, one of their Jot tape rollers, and a white gel pen. So let's get to crafting. For this project, you're gonna need one eight and a half by 11 piece of dark brown cardstock or construction paper. You also need to cut pieces in the measurements of four by two and three eighth inches, four by one and a half inches, three and three quarters by one inch. I'm also going to be using a beige or cream cardstock in the measurements of four and a half by 10, four by one and a half inches, three and three quarters by one inch. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take the eight and a half by 11 piece of dark cardstock and I'm gonna score it at four and three quarters. And if you don't have a scoring board, you can use a ruler and the lid to a pen to score your paper. I'm then gonna rotate and I am going to score it at five and a half. Now I'm gonna take the dark brown piece of cardstock measuring at four by two and three eighths, and I'm gonna score it at a quarter inch. I'm gonna rotate it, score it again at a quarter inch. Then I'm gonna rotate it and score it at a half inch. Now taking my beige piece of cardstock that measures out at four and a half by 10 inches, I'm gonna score it at five inches. Now taking the eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, I'm gonna take it the long ways and fold it on the scoring line. Then I'm gonna take and fold it in half. Leaving us with this. Now I'm gonna take the beige piece of cardstock measuring out at four and a half by 10 inches and I'm gonna fold that in half on the scoring line. With this four by two and three eighths piece of dark brown cardstock that we scored, you can see in the bottom corners here that there are squares made from the scoring. I'm gonna cut those out using the scoring lines as my guide. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna angle my edges. I'm gonna fold in my score lines. Now taking my white gel pen, so we are left with a stitched look. I'm gonna put stitching on the inside and the outside of the wallet. Here's the inside of our wallet. I'm gonna open this up, and on these bottom edges, I'm gonna put some tape adhesive. Now I'm gonna take and fold this back over So we are left with this. Now on this piece, I'm gonna take and put tape adhesive on the flaps where we scored. I'm gonna fold them in, and now I'm gonna place this on the inside of our wallet as a pocket. And that there fits a gift card perfectly. 
Now I'm gonna take these last pieces and you've got the two bigger pieces and the two smaller pieces. I'm gonna take the smaller beige and put it on the bigger brown and the smaller brown and put it on the bigger beige. I'm gonna take my white gel pen And on this piece, I'm gonna take a brown gel pen. Now I'm gonna take, and now on this one, then I'm gonna take this light brown and insert it. And there you have it, a DIY wallet Father's Day card that holds a gift card. And this is where you could write your message. Isn't that just stinking adorable? I love this idea. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this Father's Day project. Stay tuned for tomorrow where I show you how to make a matching gift card and gift bag for Father's Day. You're gonna love it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, click that red button and stick around a while for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. Those links are in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my P.O. box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now.